Are you ready, America? Okay, but together. Let's do it. Great team, okay? okay. All right. Frank! Do like an effect there. No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Quarry. And I'm Luigi Aldon. And we're the co-founders of Smudge Wellness. Today, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to use a crystal point. This is a big question that we get, which is, you have all these beautiful crystals, what do you actually do with them? So what I thought we would do today, if you're game for a little exercise, is I thought we would show people the difference between using an application of the crystal points that's on the more practical side and then another that is more whimsical, magical. Yeah. Can you guess which one is which? Um, I'm going to go with me being the practical one just because like, I have all my stuff <laughs> together. No, I'm obviously going to be, I'm the Nicole Kidman of this practical yes, magic. Yes, we, so we know that. Right. So I'm going to be doing an exercise that's really about focusing my energy inward towards mm -hmm. myself. Think you're going to do one that is yeah. giving some energy to somebody else. So with that in mind, let's think of which crystal we're going to pick. I didn't know mine. You do. Go ahead. Yeah. Smoky Good quartz. Old smoky quartz. Okay, great. And I'm gonna go with uh, this beauty, a rainbow fluorite. All right. I'm feeling calmer already. Okay. Go to it. I'll meet you back here. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I am going to show you how you can use your crystal point for a very practical purpose and in a practical way. A lot of people think that crystals are complicated or that there is something mystical and magical that has to happen in order for them to be effective. And the way that I use them is, is very straightforward. I have a huge project coming up. I have a deadline. It's going to require that I have focus, determination, and really need to get those creative juices flowing. And that I picked a crystal, this rainbow fluorite, that really is infused with all of those qualities. Now, you can believe that the crystal actually has those energies in it, which I do, but you can also just associate those qualities with this crystal as if it is a totem. And then every time you look at it, this beautiful rainbow fluorite, you are going to remember that you are capable and you are brave and you are thinking creatively and these pieces of this puzzle that you are trying to put together are really going to happen. And you're going to infuse that towards yourself, this crystal point and all of that energy that you're trying to internalize and that becomes your totem. And for me, I then just put it in a very prominent place so that anytime I'm doubting myself or anytime I get distracted, I'm going to have this little reminder to keep me on task and feeling inspired and motivated. And that's all there is to it. And that's one way to use a crystal point. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in the great outdoors. Today, I wanted to talk about crystal points. Uh, we went over a little bit about what they are, but I just want to emphasize, A, how much I love them. They're like my favorite tool of all time. Not just because they help you manifest and create energy for yourself, but more so because you can direct that energy to the people you love. And so I have recently, I've had uh, some family that suffered a loss. So I'm going to direct this intention setting to them. And so first, what you're going to do is identify the direction those people are in. Um, my family that I'm talking about lives in Florida, so I'm going to find out with my trusty phone compass where southeast is. And just uh, yeah, that direction. Perfect. So I'll point the crystal and you can see these points are specifically shaped like this so that the energy sort of shoots directly in that direction. So I'll place that crystal point facing in that direction, pointing in that direction, and then using a pen and paper, I'm just gonna start writing. Now, I like to write a note, a letter, directly to the crystal, sort of asking the crystal to send that energy to the people I love, to the people I'm thinking about, to the people that I want to manifest and create this intention for. So I'm gonna write to I'm gonna write a little letter to this crystal and uh, yeah we'll we'll pick it up after that. <laughs> Once you've done that letter or written that note, you can fold it up, 
keep the crystal pointing in that direction and just place the note underneath it. You can keep that crystal and the note in a place you'll see it all the time. That way you'll think about that loved one as much as possible. Hopefully kind and loving thoughts turn into kind and loving actions. Maybe you even send them the note. Maybe you send them the crystal. The possibilities are endless. Whatever feels right to you is the right way to go. <laughs> that was... How'd it go? Well, it got a little emotional for me, so. <laughs> Yeah, as it often yeah. does. Um, but we've met back at this intersection between practical and magic. And how much did we learn about crystal points? Um, so good much. stuff, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more about how to use crystal points or other kinds of spiritual wellness items, check us out at smudgewellness.com or find us on Instagram at smudgewellness.